Good evening and welcome to Sports Week, our new programme bringing you extensive coverage of sport in and around Winchester. Tonight we have exclusive coverage of Winchester City with both league and cup action, Winchester's rugby seconds facing off against the Tottonians, and Winnell's goal of the month. First up, Winchester City needed to take all three points from Brockenhurst to go joint second in the Wessex Premier League, and two days later they faced local team Southampton QK in the Russell Coates Cup. Mikey Smith was at both. Winchester went into their game at Brockenhurst on the back of a five-game unbeaten run. And this is set to continue when Nathan Lynch was brought down in the box and Zach Glasgow smashed home the resulting penalty. And the game got worse for the struggling Badgers when City were awarded another penalty. Glasgow stepped up again to take his scoring run to six goals in four games. In the second period, the New Forest side luck didn't improve. Brockenhurst keeper Graham Mills will struggle to get this Gary Falker through kick out of his thoughts for a long time. And Brock must have thought they were going to be the victims of a landslide when Lynch found the net from 20 yards. But Brock rallied and grabbed a goal of their own through Justin Keeling. And on Monday night, Winchester had another chance to extend their impressive run when they played Southampton QK in the Russell Coates Cup. Capitals opened the scoring on, in the 16th minute, with Mark Lilly getting his first goal for Winchester with this looping header. The away side had a golden opportunity to equalise before half time, but Scott Brown created a contender for miss of the season, finding the car park from two yards out. But in the 58th minute, fellow redhead Kenny Rowe showed him how it was done, letting the scores at 1-1, Brown claiming the assist. City regained the lead though shortly after, Lily heading home again after Connor McCarthy's knockdown. Glasgow then made it three, slamming home his third penalty in two games. Adam Beckett's scruffy goal late on set up a tense finale, but Winchester held on to progress to the next round. <laughs> Allsford Town were looking to get back to winning ways after an away loss last week when they faced Blackfield and Langley. William Cooper was there to see the events unfold. It took till the 35th minute for this one to get started at Aylesbury Park. Mark Hartman capitalising on poor home defending. It had been a fairly easy first half, but the away side was stronger just before the break, doubling their advantage through Neil Williams, his fourth and sixth. Also came out with a bit between their teeth at the start of the second half, Scott Waters finishing off a fluid move. But Hartman dashed hopes of an unlikely comeback with his long range effort, taking his tally to two. And the home side's misery was compounded soon after, as Joe Wright was sent for an early bath when he lashed out off the ball with 15 minutes left. The Magpies looked helpless, but Dan Cole's contender for goal of the season sparked a late push for the home team. But as Town flooded forward, the water side had strode through the defence to give Hartman his hat trick in seven goals in six games. Blackfield are up to six, but Allsford's season is still stuttering. William Cooper for Winchester News Online. There was a free-scoring frenzy in Tottenham and Ealing's match against Paul Town as Paul looked to extend their lead at the top of the table by three points. Karen Pennell witnessed the action. Paul Steve Smith opened the scoring against Tottenham within two minutes at the little tested farm last night, firing home for 16th league goal this season. The Dolphins nearly extended their lead only three minutes later, with Steve Hollich denying Carl Preston's shot. The Millers fought back with a free kick from Rich Bridal, securing the equaliser in the 31st minute, but neither team managed to create any real chances for the remainder of the half. Paul stormed out of blocks after the break, scoring two goals within two minutes. Dan Can headed in across from Carl Preston in the 55th minute, with Preston getting himself on the score sheet only a minute later, after Hollich deflected a shot from the corner back into play to increase the advantage 3-1. Dan Can also had another attempt straight away, seeing his free kick deflected in just over. Paul's victory was sealed with a fourth goal in the 71st minute. Michael Walker attempted to head in the cross, but Lanning Dibber was on hand to slot in the rebound, to secure the Dolphins a three-point lead at the top of the table. Karen Pennell, Winchester News Online. Rugby next. Winchester faced the Tottonians on Saturday in a fast-paced, hard-hitting game in which Winchester did not disappoint. David Champion was there. Saturday the 6th of November saw Winchester Rugby Club's second team face Tottonians' third team. Winchester started strong when slick handling saw Dave Poynton cross the line just five minutes in. This was followed closely after by Tot's penalty, but Poynton struck again ten minutes later, fending off his opposite number to score a similar try to his first. 
Tots battled over the Winchester try line close to half time, but failed to convert the score. Poynton wasn't finished though, bagging his hat trick after wrong footing the Tots defender and sprinting down the wing. Poynton managed to secure his fourth, finishing off some smooth handling with pure pace. Winchester made it insult to injury in the final minutes with this skillful pick up and try. David Champion, Winchester News Online. And finally, Winchester News Online's goal of the month. Bournemouth Poppies and Max Cream's fancy footwork and powerful strike defeated Winchester City in a top of the table clash that saw City lose two games in a row against their title rivals. Tom Ray makes it into the top four after his impressive mazy run beat the Winchester defenders before coolly finishing into the far post. City went on to win that one 3-2 though. Easley's Richard Gillespie's sprint past the defence and strike past the keeper makes it into the top three as the Spitfire sank Boreham Woods to the bottom of the table. Winchester City's Danny King scored a screamer in their 3-2 victory over Hailing United. Did he mean it? I'm not sure manager Guy Butters even cares. And our winner is Justin Henderson's wonder goal against Winchester City, helping Braden Town deny City victory. Thank you for joining us. To check out match reports for the game shown and more, go to www.winnall.co.uk. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>